In this video, we'll show you how to create custom interactions on your site with Wix code using simple JavaScript. With custom interactions, you can control how elements on your site, like buttons, images, and shapes, respond to visitor actions, like clicking and hovering, by adding a few simple lines of JavaScript. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create custom interactions, such as making a tooltip and text box appear on hover, and having a gallery expand and collapse on click. We will start by going into the editor and enabling developer tools. Click on Tools, Developer Tools. Notice the Properties panel here. It presents different options and events you can set for each element selected. To create the custom interaction shown in this video, we will use the following events from the Properties panel, on mouse in and on mouse out, to define what happens when an element is hovered over, and on click, to define what happens when clicking on an element. The code panel is the place where we will write, edit, and define the code we need. We will use the following functions, show hide to make elements come in and out of view, and expand collapse to make entire sections of the page fold up and down. Let's get started. Hover effects are great for when we want something like a tooltip or a text box to appear when a visitor hovers over an element. In this example, We'll create a tooltip with the building name and a short description when visitors hover over the campus map. We do that by handling two events, which control what happens when an element is hovered on. On mouse in and on mouse out, as seen here in the properties panel. Then in the code panel, we can assign a set of actions that will take place when these events happen. Here's how we do it. In the editor, We've created this page that has various elements which make up the map, building, tooltips, and text box. We will also place a transparent box on the top of the elements to act as our hover zone. Let's call it dorms box. Under the properties panel here, we've given the tooltip and text box meaningful names, which will help us later when we use them in the code. We will also check this box so that they are hidden on load. Now let's add the events on mouse in and on mouse out for our hover zone, which is the transparent box we added earlier. This will generate two separate functions for each event in the code panel, like you see here. Next, we need to connect the tooltip behavior to the events in the code panel. Let's start with on mouse in. Type dollar sign W and enter control plus space from the keyboard. This will open the code completion panel with a list of all the elements on the page. This is where giving elements a meaningful name comes in handy. From this list, we'll choose dorms tooltip. Then we enter quotation period quotation to receive a list of available functions. Scroll to find the function needed. In this example, it is show. Notice on the right, a description appears with more details about each function. Now let's connect on mouse out. Type dollar sign W and enter control plus space from the keyboard. Choose dorms tooltip. Enter quotation period quotation. Choose the function hide to make the tooltip disappear when the mouse moves away. Now let's add code that will make the text box also show up when we're hovering over the building. We'll click on the text and in the properties panel here, we'll check the box hidden on load. In the code panel, under the existing on mouse in and on mouse out events, we'll add the code to show and hide the text on hover, like we did with the tooltip. Let's preview to see how it works. Now, whenever a visitor mouses over the building, the tooltip and text box will appear. Expanding and collapsing sections on your site are useful when you want to keep things neat, organized, and some of the content folded until a visitor asks to view it by clicking on a button. In this example, we're using two grid galleries, two arrow shapes, one up and one down, and title text that have already been added to our site in the Wix editor. We want one gallery to be visible on load and the other gallery collapsed that it will only expand on click. 
First, we'll select the gallery we want to have collapsed when visitors enter our website. And in the Properties panel here, we'll give it a name, Alumni Gallery 2, and check Collapsed on Load. We'll select our arrow shape, and in the Properties panel here, call it Expand Shape. Click on the plus sign next to On Click, and the beginning of the code will be automatically added to the panel. We want the arrows to have the following actions on click, expand and collapse gallery. We will type dollar sign W, control plus space, select alumni gallery two, type quotation period quotation, and use the expand function on the gallery to make it expand when clicking the downward arrow. To collapse a gallery, we will repeat the process for the on click event of the upward arrow and use the opposite function, collapse. We can also add code so that clicking on each arrow will replace it with the other, as well as displaying the appropriate text. You can view the code for these actions here. Let's have one last preview to see it in action. Now you're ready. This video is always here, so come back and watch again for more help. You can also visit our resources page for tutorials, articles, example code, and more.